a lot of race topics were coming up and it was just a lot to take on and the mountain was there and it was beautiful. My friends were there and it just happened, you know, like all the events from this year just kind of threw up on the mountain from my screens. My name is Alexis Martin. I'm 32 years old and I'm from Olympia, Washington. My relationship with the outdoors, I'm really just there to let people know that black people do this kind of stuff. Black epic goddess. Mother Nature is, yeah, she would be a black goddess, a force to be reckoned with, like, powerful, just everyone wants to be her, everyone wants to be inside of her, don't take that dirty. sassy bitch. Sassy. She is demanding, but she's understanding, comforting. She's just a goddess. Oh, man. See a bunch of white people be that person of color, dabble up in that, you know, shake it up, insert yourself in situations where you probably feel uncomfortable and you probably look uncomfortable because you're the only black person there, but honestly, like, that's the world, you know, so you're going to be uncomfortable, so get used to it. Have that Beyonce confidence. I love to be the only black person in the room. I'm like, hi, hi, I'm black. Don't forget, hi, I do this too. I'm diversifying the outdoors by taking my black booty up every single summit I can, every single trail I can torque down and strut down. I'm just taking up space. I'm taking up space doing all the sports outside that we grew up saying black people don't do that, black people don't do this and that. I'm changing the narrative, showing them we do do that, we have done that and we're gonna keep doing that. People of color and black people were not outside because we tie the outside with racism. And you get lynched outside and when you hit those small towns, you get reminded with those flags. And just gotta be hard and get through it, you know, and just take up that space in that Confederate town. hoping it's color. I'm hoping it's diversified. I'm hoping the tokenism is done. I'm hoping they got it together and they just figured out if your team's too white, it's probably time to shake it up, you know, and like learn that diversity. But I'm just hoping there's more people of color in the outdoor industry, in leadership roles and higher up roles, not just starting out as photographers and whatnot, you know, like, put them up there, give them a chance, so, that's what I'm hoping, I'm hoping for the change in the next five years. more just an angry sad knowing they lost their lives for no reason 
and knowing if they had white skin, it'd be completely different. And it's just, it's not fair when you hear those voice. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Uh, it was this year. I can do it. Just letting a lot of screams out on the trail. Because it's been frustrating. A lot of built up emotions from this year. And it's just all coming to, you know, the front. You gotta deal with it all. Nature is beautiful and I just let it out and cried like a little bitch so <laughs> No, I can do anything I put my mind to. It, I, that's literally it. It's so cliche, but I can literally do whatever I put my mind to. Clearly getting some knowledge behind that, you know, so you get home safe in one piece. But I've, I've learned I can do whatever I want. It's definitely taught me whatever you put your mind to. You can do it.